सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल दबाएं ताकि कोई खबर रह न जाए that you cannot have uh, prosperity and economic growth if there is not peace and stability so pakistan participated in these two uh, uh, conflicts one was the afghan jihad in the 80s and then uh, uh, in after 2011 we participated in uh, the war on terror and both these uh, cost us heavily Uh, the first conflict left us with militant groups uh, after the Soviets left Afghanistan, and and a culture of uh, Kleshnikovs and uh, and drugs that were used to pay for the war, uh, sectarian groups, which did a lot of damage to our society, and the war on terror that left us with. over uh, 70000 people dead suicide attacks pakistan considered one of the most dangerous places in the world so when my government uh, came into power we made a conscious decision that we would only partner people in peace we would not become part of any conflict and secondly the legacy of uh, the 80s where we were left with these militant groups still operating in pakistan Uh, this was the first government that has uh, uh, not disarmed them and tried to rehabilitate them. <coughs> so, as a result of this, the the first uh, benefit Pakistan uh, had is in tourism. Pakistan is probably one of the most, uh, in terms of tourism, one of the most undiscovered countries in the world. Uh, it has one of the oldest civilization the indus valley 5000 years old it is um, in terms of uh, a country which is sacred which has sacred places for four religions hinduism buddhism the center of uh, the old buddhist civilization and then sikhism and then of course sufism <coughs> so all this potential was untapped that it has the uh, one of the most uh, Um, uh, undiscovered mountain areas. Half of the world peaks over 24,000 feet are in Pakistan. So, uh, so the first impact was the tourism doubled in one year. It doubled. Uh, it was then Condon Asked uh, magazine named it as the most uh, exciting tourism destination, and um, the back, British Backpackers Backpackers Association they sort of. and named it as uh, as the top uh, destination and make it uh, collect a lot of revenues especially foreign exchange you know, we uh, when we assumed power we had the biggest problem was our current account deficit so uh, the shortage of dollars meant that the current currency was sliding uh, so the number one impact on tourism then the next thing was investment we have a young population uh, need employment and the only way we can um, get them employment is by uh, by bringing investment local investment uh, you know start reindustrialization in 60s pakistan was one of the fastest growing uh, countries in terms of industrialization um, we were the fastest in the subcontinent we lost our way in the 70s because of uh, uh, an ill conceived nationalization which just stunted uh, stopped our industrial growth and then this uh, socialist mindset which was anti profit making so we have reversed this we are this now the government is uh, actively um, uh, uh, incentivizing industries and investment so we we have uh, we then try to remove all the hurdles in the way of invest investors so the world uh, the world bank its uh, index for ease of doing business pakistan was one of the top countries we climbed 28 places of course a long way to go but you know this is the the direction the country is headed our investment in one year jump foreign investment jump 200% so um, uh, and the profitability uh, i think unilever is here the their profitability went up uh, the other is um, uh, 
uh, other uh, foreign invest investors have come back. Kargil, for instance, it had gone away, so, so, so that came back to Pakistan. So the whole idea is to now incentivize uh, businesses, industry, remove hurdles in their way, change the mindset from the socialist mindset, which was envious of profit making, change it to uh, the more people make profits, the more investors come to your country. <coughs> and um, to, to ensure that uh, we do not go back into that, the days of, you know, when you have conflict, we have played our part in um, trying to uh, uh, avert the conflict between Saudi Arabia and Iran, uh, which would be disastrous for Pakistan. So Pakistan played its part there. We are now working actively with the Americans for peace in Afghanistan. So uh, there are good signs, you know, there's a chance of ceasefire in Afghanistan. Very important for us because that opens up the economic corridor from Pakistan to Central Asia. Um, the areas where we are hoping to attract investment, uh, agriculture is one because we have fertile uh, agricultural land, but unfortunately, uh, very low productivity because there have been no new techniques coming in. We have, uh, we don't utilize the water properly and so on. So we are trying to attract uh, uh, investors in agriculture. In minerals, Pakistan has probably one of the best gold and copper reserves, but still uh, we haven't had uh, 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 mining companies coming to Pakistan for various reasons. So we are now giving them very good terms for the, the mining companies to come over. And for Hikinsla. <coughs> and also, uh, uh, the other area, we now, uh, revolution, first time in Pakistan is trying to go into a digital Pakistan. We have our young uh, 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 experts in that area, Tanya, who's come back from Singapore and she's handling that. So, we are inviting foreign companies, technical uh, 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 companies to come and uh, invest in that. Um, <coughs> uh, so, basically, uh, you know, we have uh, we are right now, We first year was spent in stabilizing Pakistan also because we inherited, as I said, this huge current account deficit. So the first year was really uh, stabilizing our currency. Um, uh, uh, we brought down our current account deficit by 75%. Um, and now this year is the year where, where we want the, our economy to grow. And we need growth because, growth because obviously we want to provide uh, employment we have the second youngest population in the world, so we need to, uh, the economy needs to grow. So we are doing everything possible to attract investment and make it easy for our local industry to invest, uh, giving them incentives. And, and as I've said, it's the first time since the 60s that the government is consciously now uh, planning to help its, uh, its industry grow. Prime Minister, thanks for that and for, uh, for really spelling out what you, you want to achieve. Can I just get... Subscribe and press the bell button so that you don't forget to